Here's a recap of everything gaming related at the Sony CES press conference. Sony usually doesn't bring much of PlayStation to CES, announcing just the PS5 logo in 2020, console sales numbers in 2021, and focusing on VR and PlayStation productions in 2022. Let's recap everything gaming related at their CES press conference this year. This time, Sony president Kenichiro Yoshida reminded everyone of the upcoming The Last of Us HBO and future TV series such as Twisted Metal and God of War. Then polyphonist Kazunori Yamauchi talked about how Sony's technology allows them to effectively work when creating a game such as Gran Turismo, and also talked a bit about the Gran Turismo movie. The movie was then further talked about on stage with Sony Pictures Entertainment's president Stanford Panicked, a sad crystal bash from PlayStation Productions, and movie director Neil Blomkamp. Panic announced there are more than 10 projects in development between Sony Pictures and PlayStation Productions, including both film and TV, and reminded everyone of the Uncharted success after earning over 400 million at the box office. Blomkamp then talked about what motivated him to tackle the project, which was the script being based on a true story and his interest in car photography, plus how the different Sony tech allowed them to shoot different scenes for the movie in and outside of the cars. Besides that, Quizzlebash explained how PlayStation Productions balance how to appeal to long-term fans and new audiences when adapting PlayStation IPs, citing the Uncharted movie as an example and how the energy of Gran Turismo is captured in the film. The movie wrapped up filming around mid-December and premieres this August 11, 2023, telling the story of a teenager that went from gamer to racer. To close the segment, they showed a sneak peek from the movie with behind-the-scenes footage. Moving into live production, they talk about different areas including music, sports, and games. For games, Haven and Bungie, both companies Sony acquired last year, had Jade Raymond and Justin Truman respectively, talking about the experience of creating a universe for a live service games alongside the community. Jade Raymond explained they are creating a brand new franchise so they are imagining everything, and it excites them to build a healthy community that helps them evolve the game. Justin Truman echoed Raymond's message, saying that at Bungie they create games that inspire friendships and how live service games constantly evolve after the back and forth of developers and community ideas. After that, Jim Ryan took the stage to talk about the upcoming PlayStation VR 2 and confirm its launch on February 22nd will include more than 30 games during the launch window, such as No Man's Sky, Horizon Call of the Mountain, and Resident Evil Village. Added to the lineup are Gran Turismo 7, which will receive a free upgrade to allow you to play in VR, and Beat Saber, which is now confirmed to be coming to the platform at some point after the PSVR 2 launch. Extending Sony's support for player accessibility in games, Project Leonardo was presented. It's a highly customizable controller kit designed with the help of organizations such as Able Gamers, Special Effects, and Stack Up as a way to open gaming for many players with disabilities. It works alongside PS5 software to allow for gameplay experiences to be tailored to a player's need, including button mapping and controller profiles, and multiple Leonardo or DualSense controllers can be paired together. Ryan concluded indicating the improved availability of PS5 consoles around the world, with it now boosting 30 million consoles globally after December, which was the biggest month for sale. And from this point forward, everyone should have an easier time finding one. He also reminded the exciting times ahead for PlayStation with upcoming games such as Final Fantasy XVI, Hogwarts Legacy, and Spider-Man 2 scaled to hit this year. Lastly, Sony Honda Mobility presented Afila, a prototype car in collaboration with Qualcomm that will include PlayStation games as part of its inside entertainment offerings. Epic Games will provide tools for Afila, with Kim Livery CTO of the company appearing on stage and talking about how Unreal Engine will allow Sony to create connected automotive experiences that lead the way in visual communication and safety. Data that enhances the driver and passenger experience will be displayed through intuitive interactive photoreal augmentation which Unreal Engine 5 excels at. And there you have it, all the gaming related stuff that appeared at the Sony CES 2023 press conference. What are your thoughts on them? What were your favorites? Share them in the comments below, let me know your feedback by liking or disliking this video, check out other videos you may enjoy while you're here, and consider subscribing for more on PlayStation. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Joseph, this is Hyper Games, and let's get hyped!